So the question is sometimes asked, how do you preach Christ from the wisdom literature? And that's a really good question. One of the things that's been helpful to me as I think about how to handle wisdom literature in preaching and teaching is to remember that Jesus himself would have read that wisdom literature for himself. I think one of the mistakes that we make as pastors is we take a proverbial saying, something out of the wisdom literature, and we immediately start thinking about our contemporary context. And before we get there, we need to stop and reflect on how Jesus himself, who is the wisdom of God, would have embodied that wisdom saying in his own life. This is where the Gospels can be very helpful as we're reflecting on the life of Christ. We might see how He brings wisdom into His relationships, the way that He lived. He internalized all of this for Himself as the Son of God. And also the things that Jesus taught. There may be examples in His teaching of where He pulls a theme from wisdom literature or maybe even refers to the specific Old Testament passage you're looking at and employs that in his own teaching about how people are to relate to God. Now, all this is so helpful for us as pastors before we come into our contemporary life setting is to reflect on how Jesus himself would have embodied that wisdom in his own life, his own relationship with God the Father, and his own teaching. And then the last thing that I would say about wisdom literature is we are all going to fall short of embodying that wisdom perfectly which is why Jesus came ultimately to be an atoning sacrifice for us. He came to die for our sins, and a lot of our sins are folly, our inability to live wisely before the Lord. Jesus has paid it all. So this is the way that we can preach Jesus, even from wisdom literature. We look first at how He Himself embodied that wisdom, how He taught about that wisdom principle, and then comforting our people with the great news that Jesus has died for our foolishness so that we might become wise in Him.